Welcome to Econ Road. So today we're going to test the brand new Tesla Model Y from 2024. I know that the new model of 2025 is soon to be released with a lot of changes. Are these going to be good or bad? That will the future tell us. But today uh, we're going to try it with 2024 Model Y. The interesting part will be how will this Model Y compare to Model 3 that we tested a few months back. And it's going to be another video that we compare these two cars. Um, so let's check out the Model Y right now. If you like what we do, please join us in a journey to find good EVs down here. And uh, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up. So now to the test and drive of Tesla Model Y from 2024. So, welcome to the driver's seating. This is really, really great. You have lots of space. Uh, the, the driving wheel is really, really nice. Um, I like this old style. Uh, the new one has buttons instead. Uh, you have the push button here if you want to open the door. Uh, it's really nice. Um, and uh, the seating, you, you, can, you can do everything with it. You can go down, up, the back, front and back, the steering wheel as well. What I miss is the buttons. Uh, I know lots of people like buttons, but here is everything is... Um, uh, in the display here, and it's not my cup of tea. So, but otherwise, the space is good, everything is good. So, thumbs up. So, when I'm sitting here in the co driver seat, I'm 190, my space is really good. You have the same uh, way you can choose to hate the, the back uh, as, as the driver. So, Two cup holders here, you have the two USBs here as well, and the wireless charging. Um, so for the co-driver, this is a really, really good headspace. Marvelous. So, welcome to the back seats. This is really, really nice. I'm 190, and if I sit behind me, who's 190, I have a good leg space. I have really, it's okay headspace. You have the panoramic roof. Uh, you have two USB-Cs here, and airflow as well. Um, and you have two cup holders. And if you have the skis, you can open this one up, so you can have the skis as well. So the ski hatch as well. Really, really good. So uh, Tesla has thought of everything in the Model Y. So, to the seating. It's really, really nice. If you're tall like me, or a little bit shorter, or, or like 150, it doesn't matter, on 190, this car will be great for you. Both the driver and co-driver have really good space everywhere. The height of back seats is a little bit less spe spacious uh, than front seats, uh, but it's okay. This car gets 36 points of total 40 points. If you want to open a frunk, you have everything here. You have the frunk here and for a, for a baggage as well. You can open it in uh, back as well, but we're going to check the frunk first. So, let's go. The frunk. Oh, wow, my God. This is large. This is one of the biggest frunks I ever seen. So, great work, Tesla. So, if we look at the baggage, so, oh my god, this is really deep. And this is, here you have a little bit as well, uh, and here you have the same size as the frunk. And if you look here, 
all the way. This is really, really deep. Really nice. So we say thumbs up. To the cargo now. Wow, this car gets the highest points of all the cars we have tested this far. It had everything. It has frunk, trunk, towing possibility, and last but not least, possibility for a roof box. This car gets amazing 14 points of total 16 points. So if we look at the display, you have all the buttons here, you have the mirrors and the driving wheel and uh, yeah, the child lock and the lights. For steering, you have chill standard, sport standard, uh, comfort, um, charging, 76% right now, autopilot, all the locks, um, the lights, the screen, uh, the traveling, and navigation, the safety, uh, the service. Uh, Yes, and uh, if you don't have the, the Tesla card, that is the key for, for this car, you can uh, even use your mobile phone. So it's uh, really nice uh, if you forget your card at home and you always take your mobile phone with you, so it's nice. Cup holders, an old style car outlet and uh, two USB-C's in the back seats but I can't find any USB oh, here two USB-C's here as well for front seats they really masked so you can really see them To the Technics now, this car lacks buttons, so it's not a car for me. But if you like to have access to everything from the screen, you will be happy. But I'm a fan of buttons, unfortunately. I like those small buttons for fast airflow or uh, heat for the seat, heating for the seating or the airflow for the seating or what it can be. Uh, but it, this car lacks um, all the buttons. So, even that this car lacks the buttons, Model Y gets 34 points of total 44 points. Now to the security. This is an amazing car. This car gets maximum security points. Wow, nothing more to say. This car gets 24 points of total 24 points. So, to the driving, uh, this feels really, really nice. Uh, I, got, I got really much space here in this version of Tesla. This is Tesla Model uh, Y. And Tesla Model 3, I had a little bit too little space for my head, but this one is great for if you're 190, 185, yeah.
This is the Shill 0200. Now to the driving. Um, the driving feels good. The sound from outside is minimal. This car even has the driving indicator light uh, button that Model 3 lacks, you know, behind the driving wheel that you, yeah. The Model 3 didn't have it, it had just the buttons on the, on the, on the driving wheel, so really, really strange. Uh, the driving feels good, and 5.1 seconds to 0 to 100, it's nice. This car gets 10 points of total 12 points. So, for charging, you just push here, and you have the home charging here, and then you have the fast charging here, and this one turns, I think, dark blue when it starts to charge. Uh, oh, yeah, it works. This is the EV, so to the EV functions. Tesla is the EV function grandmaster. It's fantastic. The best EV function car can, car can deliver right now. Battery warranty eight years or 192,000 kilometers. You have one of the best range in the market, both in winter and summer. The application in mobile is one of the best right now. The fast charging is good as well, 250 DC. So this car gets amazing 29 points of total, 32 points. So to the verdict of Tesla Model Y. This is a great car, no doubt of that. It's an excellent security, excellent cargo space, and the EV functions are great as well. But I like buttons, and it lacks buttons, so so this is not car for me, but I think it's car for lots of people out there. This car gets amazing 147 points of total, 168 points. So this is a really good EV. So if you like what we do, please give us thumbs up and join us in a journey to find good EVs. See you around.